Vivid Ann here, just taking my girl Judy out for a walk, and guess what I found? See that vine right down there? Let me turn it over. I was messing with it a little bit earlier today. What do you think that is? I know exactly what it is. It's the same vine that's over on my neighbor's property, and that's not the only one. There is this one. And these may be both from the same one, but there's the other one right there. There's another one growing right there. And there is another one growing right there. Come on, Judy. Right there. So, looks like I've got passion fruit vines growing all over my culvert. This is wonderful. Change of plans, folks. I'm over with Mr. Lucas, and we're going to have another Mr. Lucas wisdom number two, how to make a marriage last. All right, sorry about the air conditioner flipped on. It's just a part of life. So, Mr. Lucas, how do you make a marriage last? Love and think of each other and do a little arguing and just respect one another and take care of each other. That's the best thing you can do. Yeah. And just, you know, that's all I gotta say, you know. It's just... Well, you were just telling me about your routine at 3 o'clock in the morning. So what's that routine uh, like? I, I get up in the morning. She does her treatments. She does her treatments. And she says, I gotta get up. My bones are aching. I gotta get out of bed. I, and she gets up to the washroom, go, goes to the washroom and everything, and then I get a take and she says, oh, hand me my, hand me my teeth. <laughs> and then she says, well, go, go turn the coffee pot on, and make me a cup of coffee, <laughs> my coffee ready. And I'll go do that, and then feed, and feed the cat while I'm doing it, I'm doing about and I'll take do that, and then I'll say, well, I'm going to lay back down a while. She says, go ahead, go ahead, I'll be, I said, you're going to be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. And then I get up about 9 o'clock, and I go in, and I go get her cantaloupe. That's what she wants, her cantaloupe. And I'll slice it up, and she'll say, do you put any salt on it? Yes, I smack a little bit on it. <laughs> and I give it to her, she says, so, you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. My oxygen level is 96, 97. I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. And she says, go back to bed and get some sleep. I'm okay. That's well, and how many years have you been doing that routine at 3 o'clock in the morning? Uh, well, this since for, for the last two years since she, when she started uh, last year and this year. About two years now. She fell and broke her femur and leg and that. She was in the hospital for, in the nursing home for three, four months. And then she come home and then this last, in May, in May, man, the first, second of May, she got up and she fell and broke her left ankle foot. Right. And, and she, she recently gone, got home. And I just... I, I got her home about what two two weeks ago. Yeah. Two weeks ago. So. And you're so much happier, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of like your your world has returned <laughs> to normal. Yeah. Yep. You caught that right. It's gotten yeah. back to normal. Yeah, I would say, you okay? I'm fine. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I said, nah, just go. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> ah. And then does she wake up at, uh, again and ask, or wake you up again and ask for something else? No, nah, not. She don't wake me up after she gets up in the morning. Yeah. I'll, I'll play there at about 9 o'clock. I'll go in and I'll say, you okay? I'll play. Make my candle up for me. <laughs> 3 o'clock thank, in the morning. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I get to put a little salt on it and she'll say, she'll say, where's the salt? Get it? Get it back. Get it. She's been dead on it. She's fine. Oh, that's hilarious. Hey, I wanted to ask you too. 
people have asked about your rooster, Mr. Cockadoo. Yeah. Can you tell me the story about how you came upon Mr. Cockadoo? Well, I was I was sitting out here one morning. I come out one morning and I seen this big red rooster out there. And my son seen him. He said, "Hey, that big rooster!" Now. And I went out there and he come up to me and that and you know I picked him up and I took pictures of him. So and, that. and then he, you know, I put him back down, we got him some corn and stuff and fed him. And then he left, he leaves, he comes back, spends all day that day. And then about getting a little dark, he goes back in the woods. So I don't know where he's going. I don't know where he come from. But anyway, he come back every day. And I'd be out there, I'm going to be with something, and he'd come and lay down. Stretch out. Yeah. Right beside him. Just relaxing like he's your bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he'll come over and the, the dogs come out and get back in the woods. And they, they come back a little while. And then one morning I they came out about uh, six or eight months ago. I come out and there was feathers where I feed them out there all over the ground. I said, Lord, I bless you. So I just killed my rooster. Oh my gosh. So, I checked, man, and I, my brother up here said he seen two red fox come up the road. You know, I seen the was down there, I guess. So I figured he was gone. Yeah. So I come up one morning, and I was sitting out there, and I was like, here he come. He come out of the woods, and there was no tail feathers, nothing. And now he's beautiful. I put him in, and, and then, after a while, uh, a week or so, I was out there, I had a fire going in my fire pit. And and he come he come up and he sat out there. Uh, and it went cold with him. Yeah. And he then he he, 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 he got he, he got the, he started back down there and all of a sudden I was sitting there and I see him more he come back up there that just hard as he could come. Running and and, and there's a dog right on his right on his table. Uh oh. So I jumped up and I run the dog off of that and and he went down by the shed, went in the shed and when I picked him up and that, and I kept him in there till I got my pen. Yeah. Well, well I'm gonna and show a picture. And he wants to eat out of my hand all the time. Yeah. He wants me to you know, come up and eat out of my hand. So when he came back that first time after you saw those feathers, was he like injured? No, uh, he just pulled all these big long tail feathers out and that. There's a lot of feathers on. But he come, after I they come him back. They grow back. You, you see him. You see him. Yep. I'm going to show them a picture you of him in a minute. And he's, it's at me. He wakes me up in the morning. He's throwing out there. And the, just when the sun starts being a little dark, you know, yep. he starts growing. Well, and the fact that he's nice and he'll eat out of your hand means that he's not like a mean no, no, rooster. No. He needs he a couple needs, of hands, doesn't he? He needs a couple of hands. I want. I, I can't find them anywhere. Nobody says they got two big hands. No, he's a Rhode Island red. Yeah. And he's a big rooster. Yeah. You need two Rhode Island red hands, you know, to keep him company. Or or hands that are at least big enough. Yeah. To contend with them. Yeah. Well, we'll find some hands for you. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Lucas. Thank you so much. Hey, Mr. Cockadoo. <laughs> Hello. All right, it might be really hard to see, but he's back there. He's a big rooster. There he is. There he is. Look at how gorgeous he is. Hi, Mr. Cockadoo. You're a big rooster. Oh, I wish I could get him to come out so you guys could see him. Come on, Mr. Cockadoo. Oh, Chapo! Yay! Judy gets to be with her playmate. They go crazy. Judy just loves playing with Chapo. And Chapo will put her in her place. They like to play pretty rough. We got it. Judy's gonna sleep well tonight. Good boy, Chapo. Good boy. Ha ha ha.
He will just wrestle and wrestle like this. I'm so glad Judy has a playmate. She's fearless. God love her. Judy! Judy! Nah. Now we got Donna out here. Oh yeah. She'll run them. Oh, they're off in the woods. They'll come back. Told ya. Oh, whoa. Donna's got some moves. Wear her out. They need to go get them some water. Yeah, they will. They will when they get thirsty. Silly dogs. Look at Donna. She just kind of submits to everybody. <laughs> She's a sweet dog. I think I'll end this video with the darling Miss Judy just before bed. She's getting ready to fall asleep and look at she's got her arms stretched out. She's actually hugging me. What a great dog. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.